Hello and welcome to part three of the seascape. Now we've already got our acrylic all done. This is the block in. And by the way, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but this is a 12 by 12 canvas. And we'll first start out with the sky. But we have for colors for oil, we're going to be using ivy black, cobalt blue, Sicilian blue, yellow okra, a yellow green, maybe I'll use a tiny bit, phthalo green, sap green, titanium white, and a little bit of burnt sienna. So I think what we're going to start with first is we'll go ahead and we'll start with the sky and we'll go ahead and do like we did with the acrylic and we will start with putting in this black line again which we'll probably use the ruler for that too. And I'm going to just take and add a little bit of a liquid and this is liquid. I'm using liquid original. That's help to uh, that's the medium that I'm using. I'm going to thin some of that black with this liquid. And I may use a little bit of thinner, but we'll see how it goes on. So I'm going to use a ruler still again. Because but I think I'm going to use it from the top. Because I want to get that horizon line a little bit straighter up on the top. So we'll bring it down about there. And we can do a little bit of adjusting to it. We'll just add it in. Very gently. Comes down a little bit, it won't hurt a bit. It'll make it look like there's some shoreline there and whatnot, and we'll cover up some of that with the other colors as we go. And we'll get that in all the way to the end, just like that. I got a few little bumps and whatever here and there. Okay, make a little bit wider line if you really want to. In some areas I probably will here. Give a little bit more of a shoreline than I had originally. Now if you get a little bit more than you really want, like I just did, let me just take another brush. Put some thinner on it, and you can pretty much pull it right off. Right now, just pull it out, and probably the blue will cover that anyway. Smooth it across if you have to. Oops, a little bit more. Wash your brush off again. If you need to. Just pull it off. You can make some little mistakes if you're just careful. You can just fix it. No big deal. I'm going to come across the bottom with it. And just kind of straighten it out a little bit. Here and there. A little bit of thinner on it. Helps if you rest your elbow on something. A little bit more. I want it right there, so we'll take it off a little bit. And there we go. No problem. Now, let's go ahead and take a little bit wider brush. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the sky. We'll just wash the brush off, make sure it's clean. I'm going to use a little bit of this liquid. I'll put a little dab here. I'm going to use this Sicilian blue. Right there. And I'm going to take a little bit of this cobalt blue, which is a little bit darker, and about half of that mixture, I'm going to darken it up just a little bit with the cobalt blue. Just like that. I'm going to wipe my brush off here. Now, I think I'll probably put a little bit more liquid in it. 
I want to get a little bit more of the Sicilian blue. We're going to be using quite a bit of that. And I'm going to take the Sicilian blue. And that's actually going to be in the middle here. But I think I'm going to start darker, so I shouldn't even got that. Go ahead and wash your brush off like I have to do. And I'm going to start with a darker color. I changed my mind. That's what you can do when you paint. I'm going to start with a darker color up top. Just work it in. This is oil, so you'll be able to work it right in there really well. Make sure you cover all that acrylic up. You should see the difference. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't need a straight line. It doesn't need to be perfect at all. And then I'm just going to just have the dark come in. Maybe I'll put just a little bit on the edges. Make the edges just a little bit darker. Just a little bit. Just like that. You don't want to have a, a straight line there. You just let them flow in there a little bit. A little bit darker here and there. Don't worry about that black. Just grow it right over the top of it. Very gently. Actually, got a little bit too close. A little bit too close. Wash your brush off when you do that. Grab a little bit more of that paint. And you can go right back over it. Very carefully. And we'll go along the whole bottom. Real carefully. With just a little bit of the darker one. Just a little. And then we'll go ahead and drain to wash your brush off to the Sicilian blue, which is going to be a bit lighter. In fact, I think what we'll do is add a little bit of white to that Sicilian blue. Lighten it up just a little bit more. And then we'll bring it in. Just like this. All the way across. Probably gonna need some more of it. But we'll see. We will see. And I get a little bit more of this uh, liquid in it. A little more Sicilian blue. And we'll add a little more white. You have quite enough. And we'll add some more to it. We'll come all the way down to where that darker color is. You want to build it blend into that eventually here. Just like that. Very carefully down here. Then we're going to kind of work in some more, work it right up into that darker color. Get some of that lighter color up in there, so they'll blend it in, just like that. Just a little bit at a time. Take your time with it. Blend it right in. Very carefully. Okay, now if you wanted to put clouds in, this would be the time to do it. I'm not going to put any clouds in this one. I just want it to be a nice, pretty blue sky. And that's all there is to it. What I'll do now is clean the brush off, as always. Wipe it off and get it dry. And I have what's this little mop brush right here. It's very, very light and fluffy. And then you can take it very lightly. Just go over it. Kind of hypnotize a little bit here and there. Get a hair here and there, whatever. It'll come off. piece of something there. 
don't know what it is, but we'll get it off. Just like that. Now, if you're seeing any spots that are coming, that are showing through here, you may have to go over them again a little bit. I see one right here, so I'm going to go over just a little bit more here. I don't like it, so I will fix it. I don't want that white canvas coming through. So be really careful about that. I don't want it coming through at all. Okay. All the way up. Okay, we'll call that done on the sky. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll wash off this softening brush. It's very critical to make sure you get that nice and dry. We'll probably be using that some more at some point. Get it nice and dry. Want it to be nice and clean and fluffy. So now we'll go ahead and we're going to go ahead and start filling in some of this in the background. I'm going to use a smaller brush for that and we'll get a little bit of liquid to it. And I'm probably going to use some of the Sicilian blue. And I'm going to take a little bit of this phthalo blue and mix with it. I need some more of that blue with it. And maybe we'll try a little bit of cobalt blue in there too. And then we'll see what that gets. And maybe a little bit of white, lighten it up a little bit. But we want it to be a bit darker in that back, so we'll put a little bit more blue in there. And a little more liquid. So we'll start right back here. I'm not going to worry about the old white waves and stuff we got back there right now. I'm just worried about getting the colors in here. We'll be going over that stuff anyway. That was just for the block in. Give us an idea where we wanted everything. That's all it was for. This is just the area where you can really kind of fix things up a little bit that was not quite to your liking before. A little bit of black there I didn't want. What that was? Piece of hair. When you lift your brush when you do this, clean it off. Put some here. And I think we're going to be looking at some of this darker green in this area here. So we might as well go ahead and we can put some of that in here too. darkness right in there, up around in here, in here, and this is all a lot darker in this area down here, so we can put more down in here, it's a little bit bluer than I really wanted, but we'll deal with that. I want to pull some of it down in here a little ways. We don't want it to look like we molded little chips and pieces there. We just want to make sure it's all darker right here. And some right there. We'll be doing little sections of this at a time. A little bit of the darkness over here. That's going to have some blue in there. And 
uh, this will be more pronounced, green will add a little bit more green to the mixture maybe. We can pour in some of this green in here too. This is where you want to make really sure that you're not having any little white spots from the canvas coming through. All the way up. Now I think we're going to add some white to this blue, same blue mixture. This is where we're going to really start trying to get some of the details of this wave a little bit here. coming down in this area here. About like that. And maybe some just a little bit coming down in this area right here. Right about in there. I'm probably not talking loud enough. I probably should be talking a little bit louder, huh? So we'll put that there, like that, and we want something a little bit lighter, the same color, basically up in this area right here. So we're going to put this up here, about right there. Maybe we'll come up a little bit higher with it and get rid of the top of the other. Okay, I think there's a, a darker area that's going to need to go in right there. We'll put that about there. All the way to the edge. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and clean our brush off a little bit. We want to not have it too greenish. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're going to add some more um, Sicilian blue. We're going to have this by itself with a little bit of white in it. Bluer, maybe. And we'll put this up in this area here. That blue can come around like that. Perhaps a little bit in here. way right up into the top of this wave right in here pull that in and about there right over the top here more perhaps down here a bit more and up on the top here And definitely up here. Right down over here. <coughs> and down in this area a little bit. Okay. 
Okay. Now we need to do a little bit of here. I think we're going to get some of uh, that right off a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit lighter, that same blue, but put more white in it. I think we're going to end up pulling this, putting that over here, a bit lighter. Just like that. I'm actually going to put some light down into that wave, right there, like that. that to come right down into here. There we go. Okay. I'll clean my brush off. Yeah, I'm actually going to go to a little bit smaller brush for the moment. Because what I want to do is take that same color, with a little bit of liquid, that lighter blue. I'm going to thin it a little bit, little bit with it. Just a tiny little bit. Because I want to add a little bit of these little waves in the back. I'll just put a little bit. You can barely see it. But I want to add some of them colors in the back. Some of that color back there. This is very turbulent in the water back there. I want it to look that way too. Give that a little bit of a turbulent. That's why you want that small brush. sometimes is when it's still wet I'll actually go over it just a little bit to kind of help blend it in a little bit you don't want any of the hard lines on it you just want to blend it in just a tiny bit just like that that helps it a lot more than you think He's a more realistic look to it. A little bit of thinner on your brush makes a lot of difference. It helps it quite a bit. And it helps blend it in nice. Okay. Okay. I've already mixed up a little bit of gray, so I want to go ahead and put some gray in some of these areas right where we know the waves are going to be or the uh, foam put it that way foam probably going to need a little bit darker gray than that but I'll put some in here anyway and we'll darken it up some wherever it needs to be some will be darker some will be lighter you don't want to have it all the same color gray. A little bit 
up here. Come in here. Some kind of comes across this way. All the way over to here. Some in here. All the way over this way. Way over here. Smoking this way. This area here. All the way to the end. Gray in there. I have quite a bit right here. Coming down here. All the way over in this way. Back there. And we'll bring it right over this way. To there maybe. And we'll definitely be putting some in here. back of that wave is going to be. Definitely got to have some in there. Kind of make some swirling motions a little bit with it. Make some up here. Got this area here maybe. And some over here. Now we'll go ahead and get some of this little bit darker one I made here. Then we're going to add some of the darker, darker areas to it. Get some darker, lighter, some of the areas are darker. Because you've got the sun not hitting the, you got shadows in with the waves. So you want to make sure you got shadows in the waves. Maybe even a little darker than that in some areas. as dark as I really want it to be, so we'll get down here, some darker. Darker areas up here, and even up that way a little bit. And these are definitely got some darker, darker areas in here. There you go. Then we're going to go with a more of a blacker, really dark, dark, dark area right here. This is all shadow in this particular area right here. We want that to be nice and really dark, almost pure black. But that wave crashes down. Right in that area. We're going to add a little bit of dark up here. We're going to add some green to this dark. I want that to be a little bit greener. Darkest color green. Come right around this way. Come around here. Got a nice dark green. 
we're going to darken this very gently. Very gently. We want to darken it out a little bit there. A little bit of that green. Not there. And we'll start with some up right in here. Darken them areas out. That same green. We may add a little bit more of a darker black in there, some too, but we'll get with the green first. We definitely want that green dark areas in there. shape the actual wave itself. All the way down to where the sand is. Just like that. This is actually going to blend out a little bit right here. Into that darkness. Should start to see a nice looking wave starting to form here. This one here. Come all the way down into this area here. Just like that. And this one will take just a little bit of that. I'm going to wash this brush off first. Take a little bit of that yellow green. I'm just going to work a little bit in here, just a tiny bit, just a tiny little bit here and there. I'm just going to dab it here and there, and I'm going to blend it out with it, just so we get that little bit of a green in there. Kind of goes up this way. Then I'm going to wipe my brush off. No, actually wash it off. It's good and dry. And then we can very gently just kind of pull it in a little bit. Just like that. And we don't want to have it straight lines of it, we just want to blend it in. That's all I want to do is blend it in. I'm going to kind of try to cover up, do a little bit of blending to cover up these any little white spots that I'm seeing. I'm trying to 